1967 Cadillac Sedan DeVille, which means sedan, four doors. Who would ever thought I'd fall in love with a four door? Look at this thing. Okay, I gotta tell you, I spent some time this past weekend in it, on the strip. Welcome to Las Vegas, celebrity cars, folks. Thanks for checking in. And uh, boy, I've driven Lambos, you know, my favorite cars up and down the street. Nothing gets more attention than this from every generation because your parents are yelling in the backseat, oh my gosh, look at that. The kids are going, oh my gosh, look at that. This is a very, very special car. Um, apparently a, a funeral procession lead car back in the day, maybe, maybe not. But uh, boy, it looks familiar if you're old like me and you remember the the uh, 60s and 70s when they were using these. So 67, uh, it, it's black, black interior. It's in really, really awesome shape. Uh, it drives awesome. It was 98 degrees this weekend, folks. Air conditioner blew nice and cold. Couple little squeaks when it got hot, but not too hot where it was overheating. There was none of that in 98 degrees, traffic lights. It was awesome. Uh, it's not perfect. It's got a couple little abrasions in the paint. It's got uh, a mark on the windshield from when the uh, rubber took a crap on the windshield wiper and it left a mark on the windshield. <clears throat> uh, but other than that, what you would want this for, especially living in Las Vegas, if you live in Las Vegas and you're watching this video, this is the kind of car, uh, like your registration is like $100 instead of a brand new car, you gotta pay $1,200, $1,500 a year for a registration. This is like a hundred bucks or something like that. <clears throat> um, uh, not, not a whole lot more, it, it can't be. It's uh, cheap to insure, it's not that expensive. Maybe you just moved to town and you want something that uh, you want to fit all the kids in it and take it to car shows and car meets and car, it's, this, is, this is wonderful. So uh, unfortunately I spent some time in this car so I got to, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've fallen in love with it and, uh, and I could talk about it for hours, but I'm not gonna. Uh, once again, welcome to Celebrity Cars. Let's go over the condition. I'm the living, breathing condition report on these cars. Uh, I, listen, I, I, I need to be clear that I'm not gonna beat this car to death with everything. So pay attention. I have some notes that I've created in my head here. In some of these uh, membranes here, if you will, uh, uh, like along the, uh, the chrome area and inside where the, the, the seam of the trunk, uh, all of it lines up beautifully, by the way. Uh, there's uh, some wax residue. It could be from uh, last year's wax. It could be from uh, 1973. Um, you know, when the paint gets a little old and the, and the wax gets stuck in the crack, you're gonna have quite a detailing job to get all the extra nooks and crevices. You know, below the uh, chrome strip here on the side of the car, there's some wax in there and stuff like that and some buildup. I didn't see any rust bubbles on this car. I looked underneath it. It's not the cleanest undercarriage, but it's fine. Um, there's no bubbles. It's beautiful black paint. There's not a major scuff on any corner. There might be a small abrasion. Um, you know, in these big corners, you're backing in and out of the garage, but there aren't any here really, okay? Just some of that wax residue I was referring to. Um, there's no uh, big dings down the side of the car, okay? Um, uh, uh, from being in a, in, a, in a garage where there are multiple vehicles, uh, the kids leaning their bike up against it. There are no dings up and down here. It's super, super straight. Even down there is, is terrific. Now look, like I said, when we started off this video, it's not perfect. It has, you know, a couple, uh, you know, little things here and there paint wise. It's been around a long time. I, I, I mean, if this has been painted, uh, okay. Um, when I, I, it doesn't look like it's ever it, it just looks completely unmolested and just original as all get out um, I don't see any oh we made a scuff here we're gonna use can of spray paint Psh, none of that it's very solid the chrome let's talk about the front chrome here again this is just so much real estate to cover I'm not gonna I'm not gonna point out every little nick and scratch I'm just not gonna do it we're gonna let the camera do the work on this one again it's not perfect uh, 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 out of 10, I would give this paint a, uh, with all of the wax to clean out and some of the cracks around the corners where the wax is shoved in. Uh, I'm probably gonna give this paint a, a really good, a really good eight out of 10. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Look at the chrome. It's beautiful. 
all the way across the front. It hasn't been, you know, banged in anything. It's not sideways. It's all nice and straight. There are no big chunks taken out of the bottom down here or anything like that. You got a couple little road grime stuff here and there, a hair fading in the chrome in some locations, but up underneath, nothing really up here. Um, the headlights, the chrome around the headlights look terrific. Uh, the headlights look terrific. This chrome, this, okay, uh, plastic chromish grill here. Oh no, this is, that's metal. <laughs> anyway, it's all one piece, okay? I cleaned every one of these little freaking holes, okay? <laughs> uh, it's, it's clean as can be, it's, it's just beautiful. If, if I, if, uh, let, let's, let's, let's do a for instance with these rock chips, okay? Come on up here. Let's get up and close, see the reflection. I want, let's, let's study the paint because it's the same all the way around. So like I said, we're not gonna do this again on the trunk. But look at some of the reflections from our fancy lights that we had here installed at Celebrity Cars. Um, and the reflection, you see, you know, little marks from microfiber towels, maybe not a microfiber towel, but these are really light. Uh, this car hasn't been full blown, uh, you know, uh, machine polished or waxed or anything like that. It's all, you know, could be cared for even more. But I mean, it's already super black. Don't, you know, knock off any paint. Just leave it alone, wax it on occasion. It's wonderful. Stay away from the edges and the cracks and stuff. Okay, look at the windshield. See the scratch? Sorry, folks, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you can get a windshield for a 1967 Cadillac out there somewhere. But here you go, okay? From this deteriorating, somebody hitting the button. <laughs> Um, down here in the edges, you know, a couple little leftover bugs all the way down in the far crease there. Don't let that, please don't let that, uh, you know, it, uh, I'm, I'm, that, that's what you get here at Celebrity Cars, okay? We go over every little detail. Um, this car isn't a ton of money and the value is monstrous. It's mind blowing the value of this car, how much it is and how much you can drive this car around and enjoy like almost every day, whole family. Anyway, so don't pick apart these little things. You want a show car, move on go to the next website um, and good luck finding one in this condition. So look at the top of the car, you see the paint, a couple of those little scratches, but they're really fine, but there's no chunks. There's no hail damage. There's, it's just a great big beautiful sheet. There might be a little uh, uh, indentation right there, but it's super, super small. Uh, I'm looking at it with, from every angle, and it's just a great big sheet of metal, folks. These glass windows, just so you know, they go up and down. I've already used the power windows. They're wonderful. These are not power locks. You just push them down. They all do work, and the key will open them and close them. Come on over here, over my right shoulder, if you will. Look in this direction, and I want to show you some of this wax. See this? I tried to get in there and get that. Um, when you have, oh, there we go. I'm getting a little bit more of it now with my fingernail. So you never know. Nooks and crevices on this thing. But that's the kind of stuff that'll, you know, that you need to touch up on on this car. Other than that, it's just incredible. I'm going to open these doors because I could just make this video like so long talking about how wonderful this car was, uh, is. Um, the doors are all in one piece. The leather's in great shape. It has that somewhat musty smell from back in the 60s, which is just charming if anything. Um, it's, it's not bad. It's not like, oh, it's gross. It's none of that. It just uh, smells like when it was built, you know? Um, but uh, we'll look at the interior and the seats a little bit later. Here are these doors um, uh, inside this door panel. Uh, the, the chrome around the fixtures is, uh, is, is uh, you know, 90%. It needs some polish but it's at 90%. It's not 100% super shiny and 100% great condition. It's really good condition. These doors, look at this lineup, the stripping down the side. Just absolutely wonderful. Now you'll find a lot of uh, the same discussion of the chrome and uh, the stuff in these crevices here. Uh, I would recommend if you're a fancy detailer guy to get these removed, clean underneath and uh, put them back on. Um, we haven't talked about wheels and tires. I've already checked out the hubcaps and stuff all the way around. Wheels and tires are wonderful. I've driven on them. It's great. It's great. There's no wobble while you're driving down the road. None of that stuff. Um, okay. Uh, like I said, uh, we would, this would be an hour long video if I went all the way down the car. Um, there's a couple mild, there's a, there's a mild scratch right here. 
if you want to get, uh, you know, really deep, you want to see something. I'm trying to bring you viewers and you potential buyers closer to the car as best I can without spending a year on it. This isn't, if this was a, you know, $75,000 Cadillac, we'd spend some more time on it. But it's not necessary. Uh, uh, the proof is in the pudding. I've been enjoying this car for the last couple of days. A um, little bit of marks on the chrome, just normal road wear. All of this down here, if there's any really nicks at all, all the way around the, the bottom, it's just really minor road wear. Let's walk her all the way around the, to the, to the uh, rear back side of it. Once again, we have uh, you know, some, some hidden wax that we've talked about. But other than that, the chrome back here, I'm gonna say is a good uh, 85% super shiny. Um, you have some fading on, on a couple of these sills, although this is a little bit of, a, I believe, aluminum. And then you're back to steel down here. Um, this is, uh, it's just in, in terrific shape. Uh, you wanna spend some extra time with some, some polish over a weekend, you'd spend half a day on this back bumper, having tons of fun seeing how shiny you can get it. Uh, the emblems all look good. Once again, this whole trunk uh, looks great. Uh, and again, I'm looking for any major scratches, any major crunches. Come on over here to my right shoulder, please. Uh, here's your rear windshield. Uh, and you'll see along this, following my finger, you'll see in here, this is where you're gonna find yourself your fancy little toothbrush or something to get that wax out. And in here as well. But notice this, um, I, I know a lot of you uh, Cadillac guys are checking this particular location out and I think I'm, I'm onto something here. Check this out. I know this is what you're probably looking at to see if, uh, uh, if there's any uh, erosion along here. And the only thing we have uh, uh, is just a, a little bit of wear going around the, the rear window, uh, but the rear glass is in great shape. Uh, this, uh, there's a little, a little scratch right here. Um, I'm not sure if a detailer will get that out or not, but it's not major. Let's work our, here, I'm gonna open up the driver's side, two doors, so we can get these doors out of the way. And again, this is all a big, big piece of leather, all in good shape. This is nice along here. You need some chrome polish along here. All this stuff is in pretty, there you go. Check out the old cigarette ashtray and lighter. It's all still in there. Take a quick glance in there. It's almost the whole same all the way around. Original seats. Not sure if it's original carpet yet, but I would suspect it to be. Um, notice there's no divider here in between these doors. It doesn't go, there's no post. So it's all open up. I'm gonna close this door. Check out this piece of metal here. Pretty sure you Cadillac guys be paying attention to this too. There's little wear down here. Uh, uh, just getting in and out of the car, nothing major. This plate looks good. This needs to be shined up as well. Inside this door right here is, uh, is just inside this driver's side door is, is absolutely wonderful. S stick your uh, nose inside the car and check out the steering wheel. I'm gonna close this door and we'll finish up walking around the front fender here. Oh, there was an abrasion right here too. I, I can't believe I'm pointing these things out to you folks because they're just so minor. I mean, man, you know what? I've been wondering if that was wax or not. And that's all it is. It's just wax in a small rut in the paint, I guess, if you will, because that's almost gone. I thought that was a scratch the whole time. This is a great big black car, folks. <laughs> Check it. Let's spend just a moment on this front hubcap um, because it's hard to see that with the skirts in the back. All the wheels are in fabulous shape. These hubcaps are just terrific. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned, we talked about a little bit of wax buildup behind the, the moldings down the side of the car, but the moldings are in, in really, really fabulous condition. Uh, once again, down here, this is just 
all wonderful. There's a small scratch right here if we want to get picky, okay? These are all really picky stuff. You would think a car like this would have a lot more chunks taken out of the corners and so on and so forth, but it doesn't. Um, we're going to check out the interior a little bit more. I'm going to open up all the doors. In the meantime, while you look in, while I let some additional light in, you can see these lights too, please. Check out these lights if you bring the camera down low and see the lights in the doors underneath the front, all the way over on the side, all those lights work. Uh, and in the back as well, if you could look at those. I'm gonna open the trunk so we can see in the trunk. And while you're working your way around to the passenger side to look at the, take a look at the interior, come on in and let's check out the trunk. Uh, it looks like this gasket, um, I always talk about rubber and gaskets around older cars if, uh, if need be. And this is one of those, one of those moments that this one's obviously kind of sort of pretty much uh, down to about 30%. It's, it's on its way out. I don't feel a bunch of moisture in here at all. Um, and uh, to be honest, it's, it's uh, kind of sort of barely hanging on. It's in much better shape up top here. It's better shape on the sides. It's n not good down here along the bottom. But let's, let's pick it apart. If you could bring the camera in, please, over my left shoulder and look into this portion here just so you can see the build. Uh, all you uh, crazy Cadillac people who can s scream at home into the computer, oh, it's been, blah, it's been uh, painted, it's been taken apart, blah, 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 blah whatever. Um, I'm just trying, we, we try to be uh, thorough here at Celebrity Cars, so you know what you're buying. We don't want you to get uh, upset with us when you get it home. We want you to know all the things, okay, as much as we can, you know, have time for. Okay, look in here. I'm going to move this out a little bit. A little bit of stuck stuff. This is just, it's all hard. Nothing's, nothing's, going, to, no, nothing's going to pot back here, folks. Um, this is, uh, I can't pull this out, um, but there's just a little discoloration there. Um, <clears throat> Look underneath the trunk lid, kind of sort of pretty much looks like it's never been touched. And the spare tire, you could put uh, two people, uh, two kids. Okay, I guess I shouldn't say any of those things. You could put somebody in here, really. <laughs> you, could, you could definitely fit somebody in here if you don't want them to pay for the drive-in movie. That's how old I am. Okay, uh, let's go. I'm gonna open up the passenger side. Let's work up the passenger side. See how nice that shuts? You've already looked at the doors, but take another shot inside that rear seat there. And right here on the passenger seat, take a look at the kick panels. You can see that they're all in, in decent shape. The kick panels are probably, uh, after a polish and a shine, probably, uh, uh, boy, uh, 85 to 90% after said and done. We look into these joints, you can pretty much detect that they've never been messed with, or I, I can't see. Uh, I'm not a professional when it comes to body stuff, but man, I, I don't know how often this car's really ever been touched. Okay. I think there is a release for the engine. No. I guess I'll find it up front. I found it up front. And it's very heavy. Great big piece of metal. Here you go, there's your power plant. I'll let you take a second to take a look at it. Once again, it's a driver, folks, but it looks terrific under there. Not brand new, but it looks terrific. If you haven't checked it out yet, and maybe you've seen this video uh, first, um, you uh, notice the air conditioning. Oh yeah, air conditioning, power windows, power steering. I should say all those things. Uh, looks like a, a relatively new alternator 
even the air conditioning pretty much uh, this sucker looks pretty good and new as well uh, but uh, celebritycars.com just in case you found this video on the internet first that's where you find about 85 pictures on this and a description uh, you want to find out the uh, how many owners there was how many miles it's on it and all that kind of stuff I'll probably find out how many miles are on it when we go for a drive in just a few minutes so we'll be right back three two and one so here we are back in the 1967 Cadillac. I, I, I'm so excited to be back in the driver's seat of this car again, because once again, it is that lovely. Let's talk about the dashboard real quick. All of this is in super shape, okay? The dash all looks good. We are out in the sunlight now. We see things a little bit better. The knobs for the radio are fabulous. The air conditioning, once again, does work. Here's your starter key over here, your headlights, your wiper over here. I'm not playing with the wiper. Give us a call. We'll play with the wiper. I don't want to scratch that any more than it is, but we'll, we'll see if it works. Now, uh, inside this hole where the uh, park is and reverse and neutral uh, insignias are, uh, that is faded quite a bit. So you can barely see the P. The reverse you can see. Neutral you can see. Drive and overdrive, uh, 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 you know, kind of, and low is, is kind of difficult to see. Just, just so you know. Um, uh, what, what's, what's, what's going on in there. But other than that, the rest of everything is in such super awesome shape. The dashboard's great. Okay, look, you want to see how it runs. This is so much fun. There you go. Now, I know you can't hear it because it's a Cadillac and you shouldn't hear it. It's just a really low, low rumble. I'm going to give it a little gas and shut up. Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> now, I'm gonna put the air conditioner on because it's hot here today in Las Vegas. And the air blows wonderful. Like I said, 98 degrees driving around this weekend. It's terrific. Okay, without further ado, my foot's on the brake. I'm gonna put it in drive and off we go. I'll turn the air conditioner down in just a moment so you can hear the car drive because the air is loud. Let us cool off first. going to pull out in front of me. It's nice. So I get a little bit of air coming in from one of the windows. I can hear it, but it's nothing uh, drastic. I'm only doing about 20 miles an hour. I'm going to hit the brake pedal here. Let's see how we stop. Okay. Now, uh, I've known this. Uh, just so you know, the brakes work wonderfully, but there is a pull to the right. So if you're cruising along and somebody pulls out in front of you and you hit the brakes, obviously within good distance because you're driving the speed limit, uh, uh, it'll it'll want to lunge to the right a little bit. Uh, two hands on the wheel, you correct it, you get it figured out. Now look, that's its current condition. We're in the process of talking about cleaning the brakes and getting them to work a little bit better. Please call us, 702-818-1031, and ask us how we're making out with the brakes on the Cadillac, okay? We're busy guys, we're selling a bunch of stuff. But I wanted to get this up on the, up on the World Wide Web for you to see. I'm back on the gas going to leave the air conditioner off so you can just hear a couple of these bumps and rattles and notice that you don't really hear anything at all. People buy Bentleys and Rolls Royces without all the fancy buttons. You have the same thing right here. Okay, I'm going to give it some gas. Watch this. I'm opening up this window right now. This is your, your free air conditioning, if you will. I'm going to leave this open. We're going to drive just a little bit further because you could hear that wind whipping in here. It's, it's really not that bad. I was used to having the air conditioner on, windows down, same time. That noise was distracting. And we'll close it up. No more whistle. Folks, I can't tell you how just incredible this car is. Let's do the brakes one more time. Three, two, one at 40 miles an hour. Okay, your rear drum brakes are gonna lock up when you hold on to the brakes real good. Don't drive this car on a hot, rainy day in Las Vegas. That's for darn sure, okay? 
There are none of those safety features. But this is a car that you purchase, you enjoy, you pay attention to what you're doing, two hands on the wheel, and this car would probably last you a lot longer than you think. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ride. So give us a call at Celebrity Cars if you have any questions about this car, okay? 702-818-1031. If you saw this video first, celebritycars.com and uh, go to Cadillac and find this uh, sedan, sedan DeVille. We, we're normally saying Coupe de Villes because of the two doors, but the sedan DeVille is not something we often really care about because it's a four door. I just turned 50 years old. I can't believe I've fallen in love with a four door, but it's what you get, folks. This is it. We're outside of celebrity cars. Call us. This is just a dream. For the price, it's a dream come true. If you've ever been a big Cadillac fan, you can't afford those big, big $50,000, $60,000 sucker coupes. And uh, this is just, uh, imagine throwing the whole family in here, picking up your mom. And listen to this. This radio station's been on since we got this car. Just leaving it right there, 50s and 60s music. Amazing ride, give us a call, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.